the most scenic drives in all of Europe. Only in Ireland. We're Matt and Nat, a part-time, non-remote travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. In 2021, we visited all 50 U.S. states. 2022 took our adventures abroad. Now we've set out on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Well, before we die. In our last video, we were in Western Ireland, where we road tripped from Galway to the Cliffs of Mower. Took in the iconic coastal views from the more than 700-foot tall cliffs. And learned how to make our next visit a little bit more enjoyable. This week, we're driving the scenic Ring of Kerry. With the holidays upon us, we are officially in the season of giving. So if you're still looking for the perfect gift for a loved one, or maybe you just want to treat yourself this holiday season. Three words for you. Treat. Yo, so. Harry's has you covered, and we want to thank Harry's for sponsoring this video. Harry's makes award-winning razors, blades, shave creams, and gels, and so much more, all designed with you, the customer, in mind. We have been loving our Harry starter set that has everything needed for a smooth and comfortable shave. And yes, even though I may have a beard, <laughs> I have to keep it shaped up somehow, and Harry's does an amazing job at that without irritating my skin. And side note for all of my bearded brothers out there. Harry's does offer beard products as well, which happen to be wonderful stocking stuffers. Hint, hint. I gotcha. <laughs> right now you can get the starter set for only $5 if you use our link harrys.com forward slash Matt and Nat. Plus you can schedule blades to be delivered whenever you need them and each refill is as low as $2. Or if you really want to impress someone with your impeccable <laughs> gift giving abilities, then look no further than the Harry's Holiday oh. Gift Set, which features some of the most popular and loved Harry's products in a limited edition all black gift box for only $30. So check off all of the Harry people <laughs> on your list this year by clicking the link down in the description to get your Harry starter set for only $5. And remember to check out the Harry's holiday gift set as well. But make sure you act fast because these gift sets are only available for a limited time with limited stock. We wish you a very happy holiday season and thank you so much to Harry's for sponsoring this video. Welcome, Welcome to, to Killarney. Killarney. This is the sixth video in our Ireland series and we've made our way all the way to the southwestern part of the country and today we're going to be setting out to drive the iconic Ring of Kerry. Now if you're unfamiliar with the Ring of Kerry, it is a 111 mile scenic drive around the Ivora Peninsula in County Kerry and it's said to be one of the most scenic drives in all of Europe. And while you absolutely could spend multiple days taking in the sights along this beautiful drive, we've only got one day here and you guys know us, we're going to do see and eat as much as we possibly can along the way. Now, if you want to recreate this trip yourself or you're just looking for tips for planning your Ring of Kerry road trip, check out our Ring of Kerry blog. We've put a link for it down in the description. We started our morning in the town center and made the seven minute drive to our first stop, Ross Castle. So if you guys want to do one of these jaunting cars, <laughs> highly recommend. I wish we had more time so we yeah. could do one, but we'll put those links down below. That castle was actually one of my favorites so far. The view oh, from yeah. the castle, oh my gosh. Yeah, we really enjoyed that one. And even though the inside, like inside inside wasn't open for us to go into, yeah. it's still definitely worth the stop. Because like Natalie said, the views, I mean, on the water, the mountains in the distance, just absolutely gorgeous. And now on to the next. <laughs>
I know we've only started, but this is my favorite. <laughs> I can just imagine the splendor and how epic this would have been with all of the gold and all of the jewels here. And yeah. I it's mean, a beautiful place for sure. It really is. And how well it's preserved. Like you can even go upstairs. Now on to the next stop. So while we don't have enough time to visit the beautiful Muckross house, <laughs> I wish we did because look at this thing. Yeah, we did have a little bit of time, however, to come and kind of roam around the grounds a little bit and it is absolutely stunning. It also makes a great bathroom break after yep. you visit Muckross Abbey because they have free restrooms. So please come visit this and let me know how it was because I am dying to come back. <laughs> Okay, so our next adventure is a waterfall and hopefully we're going the right direction. We're going to at least some waterfall, <laughs> whether it's Torque Waterfall, which is the one we were trying to get to, we don't know. But <laughs> there is a waterfall this direction, according to some locals. So, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so Matt is annoyed. This will take you to the waterfall, but it is a lot longer and obviously we don't have time. Yeah, I think so. this route is about three miles um, <laughs> there and back. We don't have time for we that. We just don't have time. Lots of uphill on the way out as well. So what we're noticing is the GPS will take you to places close, but not really. Yeah. So follow the road signs. Well, and there are multiple ways to get to Torque Waterfall. True. That's the so, trouble. This right. is a beautiful hike. And if you want to do this, we recommend it if you have the time. But we don't, but so. We're going to see if we can find the parking lot that is supposedly right next to Torque Waterfall. All right, let's go. I'm hot. Okay. When in doubt, don't follow your GPS. No. Just look for signs. Because this is literally 200 meters off of the road, so <laughs> piece of cake. <laughs> If you know us at all, you know that we would be in that water <laughs> if we had enough time. I don't oh, know yeah. if you guys remember our Hawaii vlog. We literally got into that waterfall and it was yes. amazing. <laughs> yeah. So highly recommend bringing your bathing suit and just taking a little dip. Driving on the other side of the road and the other side of the car doesn't interest you because it sounds very stressful, because it is. <laughs> then there are plenty of tours that do the Ring of Kerry, so we'll link those down below. We're actually going on a group trip next year, and if there are still spots available, we'll put the link down in the description. So yep. definitely check it out. We are so excited. And a little pro tip, if you do decide to drive the Ring of Kerry yourself like we're doing, from all of our research, we heard that all of the buses and the big tours go counterclockwise so if you don't want to get stuck behind all of those big buses and in a traffic jam, especially during the summertime, do your loop clockwise and you should be able to avoid that for the most part. Now the only con to driving clockwise like we are is the buses are now going to be on the other side of the road and we're going to have to pass <laughs> them. Oh look how cool this is! And I don't really remember what I was talking about so we're just going to enjoy the ride. So every road trip you have to have snacks. So stop by a local grocer and get some really cool snacks. We got Kinder chocolate, which I'm super excited about. And then we also got some Irish chips. Oh yeah, we had some of those. Those flavors stick with you for a while. They're really good though. So that gets your breath going. So we got a bunch of little snacks. We're good to go. So 
growing up, I had a border collie that I was absolutely obsessed with. His name was Oreo. They do these sheep border collie demonstrations, but they only do them specific times. So double check and see if you can make that work in your schedule because I think that would be epic to see. Yeah, I was hoping we were gonna catch them like just on a off chance that they were open. And it looked like people were lined up waiting to get in, but there was a big sign that said the farm was closed. So we're just gonna keep on going. And it guess. changes daily and weekly. So yeah. double check the times. <laughs> Look how close I am to these sheep. All right, they're moving on. I think we should too. Made it to the cute town or village of Kenmore. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm loving it. Yeah, Everybody's awesome. out. Tons of little shops and restaurants and cafes. Might I just like have it. to get some ice cream. <laughs> find some shade to eat this so it doesn't all melt immediately. Alright, so we got ice cream from Kenmar Ice Cream. Yep. The lady's been making it for 13 years, so all of the flavors are locally made. What'd you get? What flavors? I got a raspberry ripple, which is like a vanilla with raspberry, and then I got a mango and passion fruit. I got a Wonka's Delight or something like that, and I asked the sweet lady at the counter what went with it, and she said everything. <laughs> and then she said, well, do you like Oreo? And I love Oreo, obviously, so I got like a cookies and cream with a Ooh. chocolate base. Anytime I get mango, it's usually like a sorbet, but this one's not a sorbet. This one's definitely creamy. That raspberry was delicious. It really I, uh, is. I was helping Natalie so it wouldn't melt. Helping. Helping her out. You know mm. Yeah, I would love that. Oh, that Oreo. Good, isn't it? That's one of my favorite Oreos I've ever had. Otherwise, mm. there's nothing really valuable in there. It's such a beautiful day that I love that all of the locals are out shopping, enjoying <laughs> themselves, so. This weather is just incredible. And this town is so stinking cute. Yeah, it is. I can see why it's on pretty much everybody's list for a must stop on the Ring of Kerry. Also, in addition to the Ring of Kerry, Kenmar specifically is a stop that's listed in the 1,000 Places to See Before You Die book. Um, so we knew that we had to stop here since we're on a journey to see as many of those as we can. And if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also just hit the subscribe button so you're on the adventure with us to see as many of the 1,000 Places to See <laughs> before we die. Yeah, <laughs> we would really appreciate it. Now we're gonna go eat this awesome ice cream. you that even if your GPS says it'll take you 50 minutes to get somewhere, if you have somebody really slow in front of you on this one lane road, it could probably take up to an hour and a half. <laughs> that's the truth. And if you are the slow person, that's all right. Just be considerate of the people behind you and get off. There are plenty of places to pull over and let people pass you. Yeah. I've been the slow person a couple of times today. And, and I yeah, you just got over. Way. So moral of the story, pack your patience.
So this place is epic. I think it was built in the Iron Age, so like 300, 400 AD. They've also found copper and like excavated it here, which means it was probably a place of worship. And obviously it's a place for defense. The view is beautiful. <laughs> it is. And I mean, you can see the mountain range around here. So this Pretty is- protected and it's beautiful. Awesome that it's still here. Also another thing I love about Ireland, there's no snakes on the whole island. Oh, that wind is coming. <laughs> that was really, really cool. Yeah, definitely a unique stop along this drive and worth the visit. Definitely worth the one lane to get here. That oh, was a little yeah. sketchy, but. Yeah, that is definitely the most inconvenient part about <laughs> making this little visit. But it's so cool. actually going to the beach right now. <laughs> we packed for Ireland weather, so we yes. brought a lot of jeans, rain jackets, boots, layers. And even though we did check the weather before we came, we didn't trust that the forecast was going to be that accurate, that it was going to be sunny the whole time, because yeah. even the locals tell you, you'll get all the seasons in a single day. So we didn't pack appropriately for the beach. But we're still going out on the beach uh, in Everybody jeans. Everybody is in like bathing suits and stuff. We don't even have flip flops. In, yeah, it's like full on summer here. Oh my gosh, I'm really upset because I would have loved a beach day. <laughs> oh my gosh, this place I is beautiful. never dreamed of this place when I think of Ireland. No, but I will now. It's gorgeous. as cold as I thought it was gonna be. And I feel very ill-prepared for a beach day. Same, I'm sad. <laughs> beach day in Ireland. I was just thinking how we could come back here because this is amazing. This is one of my favorite places so far. Well, who would have thought it would be a beach in Ireland? I know. This is Matt's favorite thing that we're about to do. Go eat lunch. <laughs> I'm starving, y'all. <laughs> the Guinness stew since Natalie wasn't getting it. I feel like somebody at the table needed to get it. So I switched it up from my normal, you know, fish and chips or burgers and it looks delicious. Mm, so bold and flavorful. That gravy, nice and fluffy mashed potatoes. I think I made the right decision here. I went a little bit more seafood forward. I got calamari and their seafood chowder, which I hear is to die for. I don't know why I didn't think of Ireland as like a seafood mecca, but so creamy, tons of flavor, but not too fishy. I really like it. I also got mm, not too chewy. The tartar is really good, and I like their breading. I'm a happy camper. Let's eat. We 
just finished with lunch, which honestly was way better than I expected. Yeah, because there aren't a ton of food options on the Ring of Kerry, as you can mm -hmm. imagine. There's lots of remote areas that you're in, but this little town, Waterville, I think is the name yeah. of it, actually has quite a few options. It's about halfway through the ring, I think, mm -hmm. roughly. And that place was really good. It really, really enjoyed it. was. It? The servers were all super sweet. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we really enjoyed our time there. Now we are headed to Balenskalig. Close. I think it's ba <laughs> Balenskalig Castle. That sounds right. Um, but it's actually off route from the Ring of Kerry. There's an alternate route called the Skellig Ring, which adds on, I think, around 11 to 15 miles to the trip yeah. total. But it came highly recommended from other people that we know that have driven this and from our research. So now we're going to go check I'm it out. I'm excited. So first stop, I'm like, <laughs> if you want to go to the beach, totally see it. The castle is in ruins. There's not much left of it. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, go, go to the beach. Don't come for the <laughs> castle. Okay, on to the next. now at Kerry Cliffs, which I am so excited about. It was five euros per person yep. and they have a llamas. <laughs> this was a highlight of the Skellig Ring for me and the main mm -hmm. reason that I wanted to make this addition to the Ring of Kerry loop. I, I think it's going to live up to excited. the hype. I'm just excited they have a llama. <laughs> yeah, man, just, or is that alpacas? Is it an alpaca? They're yeah, fluffy. You don't let me! I'm a nice person. <laughs> I thought they could feel it in their soul. I wonder what they felt. I don't. What do you mean by that? <laughs> don't you comment anything in the comments, okay? <laughs> oh, we got more animals. This is awesome. Forget about the cliffs. I haven't gotten to that point yet. When I get there, they'll be awesome. Hello. Hi. I feel like if he could roll his eyes, that's what he would do right now, but <laughs> it's fine. I'll move on. cliffs are way better than those alpacas. <laughs> awesome! I'd say so. I'm glad you feel that way. Heck yeah! <laughs> These are epic and I love that they don't have the walls up, yeah. kind of like the cliffs of Moerdale. Yeah. Well, this, the part that we got to see. Yeah, this is pretty epic though. I love it! <sighs> Definitely dying a little bit. Yeah, it's a hike a little bit. Look at that, I don't know if you can see it. We went all the way down there. Well, all the way up here. Oh, wow. <gasps> Epic. This is absolutely beautiful. It is a hike. Yep. Not gonna lie about that, but it is. Worth it. Definitely bring your jacket, it's windy up here.
right here is an absolute highlight for yep. today. Yeah, you have to add this to your Ring of Carry tour. It is worth every extra minute and mile that it takes to get out here. And huff and puff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, highly, highly recommend. <laughs> My hair is an absolute mess, so I apologize. Yeah, a little wind blowing up there on the cliffs. <laughs> we haven't found postcards, but we still wanted to take this time to shout out our amazing patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. Every single name down below. You guys actually bought us this camera that we got to upgrade with, so yep. thank you a million. <laughs> and if you're interested in supporting our channel in a greater way, you can check out our Patreon page. We've got a link for it down in the description. We would love to have you in the Patreon family. Now we got to rush to beat sunset to the other side of this little peninsula. So yeah, we're gonna be we're pushing, pushing it. it. So, <laughs> bye. Thank you. No, I still don't care. Hi, you good doggy? Hey, buddy. got to the Gap of Dunlo and I am so excited because I thought this place was going to be in pitch dark but yes we're here right before sunset practically have the place to ourselves and while this isn't officially on the Ring of Kerry mm -hmm. it's so close that it may as well be and it is an incredible stop I can already tell you we're gonna love this place. I am so excited I've seen this in like so many scenes in movies so I'm excited to go check it out. I winked at the camera I winked at you guys I'm sorry because I said let's go Look how Beautiful. pretty. <gasps> we have it to ourselves, not a single person here. Now, a reason to come at sunrise or sunset is because they don't allow the jaunting cars, all of the horses. Yep. And if you couldn't tell, there is a lot of poop <laughs> on this road. So highly recommend sunrise or sunset. Yes. It is a little buggy right now. It there is a little bit of bug. Yeah. Gnats everywhere, but <gasps> pun <beautiful>. intended. <laughs> I winked again. <laughs> The Gap of Dunlo is spectacular and honestly it's the perfect way to end our time here exploring the Ring of Kerry. It really is and guys if you did like this video please remember to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like it hit that subscribe button and notification bell it means so so much to us. If you guys want more details on the Ring of Kerry please check out our blog we'll link that down in the description and we'll see you guys next week where we continue our Ireland adventures. Guys the way she treats me off of camera. <laughs> Is abuse. It is not. Take See? it back. See? Matt, are you for real right now? <laughs> I told him to do an impression of me. The things that he said, that was abuse. How about that? Huh? No, it wasn't. Huh? It's called roasting. Okay? Roasting? I didn't want to be roasted anyway. <laughs> Trip. <laughs> um, so I just sneezed my gum out. I was trying to hold it in, but the sneeze came on way too fast, and boom, there went my gum. I saw it fly out <laughs> as I sneezed. Oh, funny. Ooh.
You know, it's a good sneeze when you sneeze your gum out. <laughs> you ever sneezed your gum out? Oh, I'm sure. Gum falls out of my mouth all the time. Somebody stole my spoon. We only got one spoon at this table. Matt took it and ate a stew with it. It's a good stew spoon. I mean, it is, but this is my soup spoon. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Hmm. A little standoffish. But it has something crunch. Oh, it's kind of like a kind of like a mini whopper, you know. Ah, uh, you mean a whooper? That's what you call them, yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you guys call them whoopers or whoppers? You know those little chocolate balls that are oh, like, like malted. Mal it's a whopper. My mom always called them whoopers, <laughs> even though I don't think that's the correct term. But so I call them Isn't whoopers. It? Now I'm second guessing myself. I Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. I think it's one O and two P's, right? I literally have no idea. Whoop, there it is. <laughs>